And it's fine. Um, I was just wondering if you guys had on hand a uh, a, a valve gas or it's a gasket for a valve cover on a giant. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. This is Organic Dairyman, and welcome back to my channel today. Today is Tuesday, June 1st. It's That means it's Dairy Month. June is Dairy Month. That's nice to say that. So, yes, it is the first day of June. I hope you guys are doing great. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good, I guess. I'm surviving, making it to the world. Day by day, we're getting hopefully closer to a better world. I hope. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, my shoulder is still well, it's still doing okay yet. It's uh, not 100% back to normal, but I would say it's probably about like at least 90%. Anyways, what is going on? What I'm up to right now? Well, right now we got to go feed the milk cows, and I got to clean some old stuff out of their feed bunks because but I just drove the mixer wagon up here so I didn't have to walk. It's, uh, I know the boots that I'm wearing, it seems like when you wear them for so long, they just get blown out and it makes your feet hurt. I need to get it, probably gonna have to get a new pair of boots here pretty soon. Um, but I have my other work boots that I can put on, so I just wear these other boots when I'm around, manure and mud and stuff like that. Anyways, yeah, so we are going to, uh, Got a lot of things going on here today, the next possible couple days. Um, we got obviously yesterday, um, well, we did, um, we did, um, I did a little segment on the tractor yesterday. Uh, you can watch that a little bit here. Uh, we got a little fertilizer in, so that's all that one segment. So when we get done with this segment, you can go ahead and watch. I was doing some work on the 4020, so you can see that. And uh, so we got fertilizer we got to spray today. Uh, we got to get the plow hooked up, get that ready to go, because we got to plow some alfalfa. We got two fields of corn yet, we got to plant. And um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on, so just too much to all mention. And, oh, and we got a call cow that's supposed to come and pick up a call. An organic call cow for us, so. Um, got that happening here today too so lots and lots of stuff going on so make sure you guys stick around and don't stick around for the whole video please don't forget to hit that like button i'd greatly appreciate it if you did and uh, if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button too so uh let's just see what happens well hey good afternoon everybody uh today is may 31st uh, Memorial Day, so I hope by the time you've watched this you had a great Memorial Day weekend or whatever But anyways, yes, obviously I'm gonna be posting this video here um, in a later day a later date or day But anyways, um, what do we got going on here today? Well, one of the things I got going on is um, I just got done putting Let me go on to this side here um, on Saturday I Installed some new injectors in this tractor here because um, We took an oil sample of it back. I don't know in April end of April and it came back It said it was getting um, you know inside the oil in there. It was getting a little bit of fuel in there You know it was showing up and it was also showing that it's getting some iron in there And I think the injectors some of them were dribbling in there and it was causing it to wash the cylinders down which is wearing on the rings a little bit, but it also needs a valve, adjust, a valve adjustment here so I took off the valve cover here and I got it all set for top dead center number two right now then I have to turn it over for top dead center number one but um, you know, there's a lot of some of these things have a lot of gap in them I think they're supposed to be set at 18 thousandths but it's got more than what it needs 
so yeah that's one of the things i got going on here right now so i'm gonna adjust those and then we also got our second load of fertilizer in and so my brother and my nephew are over there um getting it unloaded so uh so we got that in so uh yeah otherwise thought i'd just show this here to you guys so you could uh see what's going on here today on memorial day Okay, I just had to move that manure spreader out of the way there because it's in the way in the spot where we need to uh, load the animal out. Actually, I'd say the call heifer. It's not a call cow. It's a, it's a heifer that she's too old. Um, she just, we've tried breeding her several times and she hasn't gotten bred. So she's just going to go down the road for slaughter. So, But that had to get moved out of the way. So now I'm just going to head back work at the feeding stuff for a little bit. Um, hum, 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 hum. Okay, um, well, as you can see, there's something wrong with that hydraulic cylinder there. So I'm gonna know. I gotta take that cylinder off. So I'm gonna work at it. See if I get this thing off. And all right, why I'm doing that? There's a bale of hay getting ground up in the mixer wagon up there. I don't know if you could see it or not. But <laughs> so I kind of like to kill two birds with one stone. Why that's doing that? But uh, um, yeah, this happened last week when my brother was just finishing up he was just basically done with um digging this field over here and uh obviously we got that field planted to beans last week um i don't think i got any video footage of it i don't think i did but yeah th this right out here is all planted to soybeans and he just got done digging it and the cylinder blew out i think what happened is the thread somehow got stripped on this thing here because you could see some yeah, you see that stuff there, so I don't know. I thought about taking pushing this thing back together and then taking and welding it back here because in there some of the threads got stripped. But anyways, I better get this thing off, stop my yip yapping here and get to this. And 
see what I gotta do, but I think we might have we got another digger just like it, a junked one over there. So maybe there's a cylinder there we can get off. The ironic thing, this thing was just gone through probably a couple years ago. We had put uh, a seal had a seal kit put in here, but it all of a sudden this one day just blew off like that. Routing. Oh, yeah. Well, good afternoon, everybody. And welcome to day two of this video. And yeah, as you can see, the beans are sprouting. That's a good sign. I think we planted them. I don't know what it was. I know I mentioned it yesterday. It was last week. I don't remember what day it was now. I can't remember. But, anyways, what am I up to here today, right now? Well, I gotta finish up this project here. I didn't get done yesterday. But... Well, I'll fire this thing up and see if it works right. I left one of the screws loose so I could bleed some air out. Hopefully, I got if I got these lines mixed up. I forgot to. Play close attention, but if I do, it's gonna swap them around. The biggest thing that concerns me here is this thing right here, because this thing here was welded on here, and they turned it a quarter of a turn, and or whatever it was, half a turn or whatever. And so I'm afraid. I hope this thing, when you set it down all the way, doesn't come down in here and break that off. It's the only way I can do it. So we'll give her a try here and see what happens.
Okay, well that thing is all fixed now, hopefully. Um, the cylinder didn't leak, so that's a good thing. But it leaked for a little bit there. I didn't get it in a camera, but it because the uh, I had the holes loose to bleed the air out. But this is the old one here. I just put it underneath the bench here for now. But uh, and uh, I think this one could be fixed if we could get a new locking collar for that thing. I think it'd be fine, and it's got to have a new o-ring seal in there and then i think it would work but anyways the brother he just took that up to the hill to unload that and i guess i'm gonna help him load up the fertilizer spreader here and then uh when we get done with that i might come back here and try to get this thing finished up here yet i got i need to i gotta get the um valve cover tappet cover gasket thing put on there. i got the gasket right here so and then i gotta put some of this in the radiator because like i mentioned the other day um we're getting a little bit of just a tiny trace amount of antifreeze in there i guess it's probably leaking through the sleeve the o-rings on one of the sleeves are getting a little bit bad because obviously there's newer 4020s they use the older ones they had a weep hole down here that would tell you if the top one was leaking but these they quit doing that these I believe they changed it got a square o-ring and then a round one further down but it could be leaking so you know it could be coming from some place else but I'm sure it's probably asleep but anyways oh, so much stuff to do and oh, that just can't be everywhere Okay, got the old plow hooked up. So now uh, I'm just gonna get it greased. And well, before I grease it, I gotta replace those three. Cause if anybody remembers from my video last fall in December, we ordered three of these, they were in back order. They came in January. So uh, I just gotta put them on. Everything else I replaced all these and I don't know we placed something else I flipped something else over on here so yeah so I'll get busy get it greased up and then I don't know we might see if we get my cousin my first cousin or my uncle to come over and help plow you know get it get a land struck out and then they can take over and that way we could work at other things because I still got to work at the feeding chores yet uh, I haven't done anything with that so just too many things going on your water. Hell there. Actually, I just swung by the shed here because I had to go back up to the feeder wagon. I thought I'm just going to quick tighten down this tap cover or valve cover, whatever you want to call it. Put this back on so all that's left now 
is to put the hood back on just right there and do a little out of the doodaddle things and and then put that stuff in there that's laying down here <clears throat> put this sealant in here and, uh, yeah so at least at least you could drive it out of here if we have to now fertilizer. Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to day three of this video. Anyways, you guess you just saw me. I just started up the TG210 to get that thing uh, warming up here while I'm waiting for it to warm up. I'm gonna put some stuff here on the mixer wagon for the young stock and the dry cows. Because even though they're still getting they're getting stuff out of pasture they still need to have a little bit of something in the regular ration yet for energy and whatever else so but anyways yeah so i'm gonna go out and plow here in a little bit uh, my cousin matt he didn't make it over here last evening he said he's gonna come over here sometime today i don't know when that's gonna be but i'm gonna go out and plow for a while and then my brother steve i don't know if you can see that or not you see the there's a tractor over there. He was out dragging this field out here with the harrow, harrowing it because um, there's some weeds coming out there, and he wanted to kill off some of the weeds. 
before the beans come up. They're all they're almost ready to come pulp to the ground, so we wanted to get those weeds, see those weeds knocked out. Otherwise, I know we don't have a uh, we don't have a rotary hoe. If we did, we'd be using it. And I know every year people will say when we sit there and plow on that alfalfa hay, some people are like, oh, it's such a waste of good feed. Why are you plowing in all that stuff? Well, we're plowing it in because of all the nitrogen and all the good things that it does for the soil. The soil has to have food to eat too. The microorganisms and organisms in the soil, they need food too. And I do know one thing, it hurts. It really um, hurts the soil when you don't plow all that stuff in. So it really makes a big difference as far as soil fertility by doing that. So, you know, that's why we do it. It works for us every year. Otherwise, we don't we don't get near as good of a corn crop if we don't plow that stuff in. So that's why. Hey, what's wrong with drinking a beer, driving a tractor, or drinking and driving a tractor? Nothing. Not going. Not buzzing down the highway. So. It's cold, so it's good, it's worth it. I quit plowing out there for now. I had to come back and work at the feeding. Um, I guess my one cousin that was gonna come over and help, he had he had a breakdown or something. I'm guessing he was cut he was cutting hay down or something, and something related to that broke down. So, anyways, my brother he's just finishing up dragging. He was dragging another started dragging another bean field that we had planted, and so. He should be about done with that. I think when he gets done with that, he might go back and do a little bit of plowing here. So, whew, just kind of a slow job doing that plowing. It just, uh, you can't go real fast because that hay ground, it's, well, it's packed down. It doesn't help that, you know, if we had a little more moisture in the ground, it probably would plow a little bit easier, but I guess just gotta keep that thing moving and then you get it done. Okay, everyone, I guess it is uh, time to end this video. Um, it's been a long day, a long three days. But anyways, yeah, we got to finish up plowing that field and go plow another field and then another hay field. And then we could get our corn planted as soon as we get out with the corn. I'm going to start uh, chopping hay. So, oh, boy. Anyways, it's just, oh, sometimes everything that we gotta do seems overwhelming, but you can't look at everything you gotta do. Sometimes you just gotta just take it one step at a time, one day at a time, and not look at everything you have to do. Otherwise, you just get so overwhelmed, you just feel like giving up. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm gonna go to bed and get some shut eye, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys. Well, we'll see you guys in the next video, so please don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, good night.